back in the summer, I went to Kynance Cove and spent a few mornings just going and sketching. I sketched my postcards and I also took my red moleskin book as well to do some more colour sketches. So I thought I'd just share them with you so that you can see what I got up to. And also, for me, it's really nice to look back on a warmer, more free time. Shine, drink in the peaceful morn. Calm and gentle, she sings. Night is gone. Sleepy flowers blossom. I went really early in the morning, around 7 a.m., and that was because Kynance Cove is a very popular tourist destination, particularly in the summer months. As you can see, it's a really beautiful place. You have the islands and a very small beach and the rocks I discovered as I was doing my pulpeal project um, that the rocks around here are very old and the rocks in this location are serpentine which means that you get lots of different kind of variants in the colours you get reds and greens and it's really quite interesting to look at the rocks, especially when the tide is out. What I also noticed were lots of seagulls and birds hanging out on the rocks. Another favourite part of this cove are the abandoned cottages which are just up from the water. There's something very mesmerising about them. I think it's because they stand out against the rock and the scenery and the colours that are in the area, they just look really enticing. And there's something also a bit mysterious about them because they're boarded up, but they're no longer used and they're gradually being claimed back by the elements around them. They became the subjects of my sketching, both in my red ball scheme and also on my postcards as well. Will we make? Will 
The materials that I've been using on these sketch walks have been a range of coloured pencils and crayons and then a water brush just to blend and move the colour around on the page. What I love though about the coloured pencils and the crayons are that you can get real nice textures with them and you can build up your picture in layers and that's a really nice thing to do when you're just looking at something in front of you. You also notice that I use both my hands when I'm doing my drawing and then what that does it just kind of loosens me up a lot more. I'm not being really fiddly, I'm not getting too tight and that just enables the drawing just to be a little bit more lively and to take on a life of its own. I just really wanted to capture the energy and the colours that I was seeing which so often when you take a picture or you even film it you cannot really appreciate the colours that are in front of you but I find actually sketching and, and trying to draw the colours uh, you just get more of an energy of the place. As you know in the UK it's now winter time, it's very cold outside and it's just funny to look back on this and just be reminded that the winter will pass and the spring and the summer will come back again and so this is just like a little taste of, for me for what is to come and a reminder that things do change. I just really love the colours in this scene. You've got the real bright oranges of the flowers on the banks and then you've got the contrast with the dark rocks which have just a little bit of mustard colour and then the blue of the sky. And then you've also got some pinks in there as well. It's just such a beautiful colour palette. Tell me what do you see 
Is it rivers, is it forests, is it mountains or sea? One thing's for sure, you'll never understand why Until you strap on your boots and take a wander outside Tell me what do you see Is it people in the cities or the busy old street One thing's for sure you'll never understand why Until you strap on your shoes and take a wander outside You need to learn to be content Wherever you are now And don't worry about tomorrow While well, today is running out only have one chance to get it right while you are here So don't worry about tomorrow Cause today will disappear You're here for a reason in the season and time but have you ever stopped to think or try to understand why? Your purpose in this place is just a waiting outside. So step out the door and go experience life. You need to learn to be content wherever you are now. Don't worry about tomorrow while today is running out. You only have one chance. Thanks so much guys for watching with me and I'll see you again very soon. Look out the window, tell me what do you see? Is it rivers, is it forest, is it mountains or sea? One thing's for sure you'll never understand why. Until you strap on your boots and take a wander outside